Hi friends, it's Sammy here, Blue Feather Homestead. Look what we got in the mail today. These are the ladybugs. Now, when I first got them, when they first got them out of the mailbox, I checked Amazon, they said they were delivered. We looked at the porch, they weren't there. The kids ran down to the mailbox and they were in there. So when I brought them in, I thought, oh my gosh, these things aren't moving. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what happens when we take them outside. Okay, can you see? No movement. I thought, oh geez, they're all dead. I'm hoping that you can see. You bring them outside in the heat, and they all come alive. I'm going to go ahead and let some of these out. They're really moving now. Can you see them? So when these come in the mail, if you order any and you think they're all dead and you call the company, don't even do it. Because as soon as they get heat on them, they all wake up and go crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and put some at the base of this tomato plant and then that one over there and this one over here. Just this one little row that I've got going on there. It's pretty much infested. So. I'm going to cut this open. I'll let some out. And there they go. Wow, they're everywhere, aren't they? Here, get off. Get it over here. Alright, so they are just coming out like crazy. And I'm kind of just dropping them on this plant, and they are just going to town like an army. So all the little ladybugs are released into this part of the garden anyway. And uh, there's no guarantee that they won't fly off, but hopefully tomorrow morning they're still going to be out here chomping away. We've got some amazing looking tomatoes out here, and I do not want to lose them. Hi friends, it's Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. I was going to give you a quick update on my ant and aphid concoction here. It's got quite a few ants in there. I um, was going to let you know that it definitely got rid of the ant problem. I don't see any ants in any of the areas that I put this stuff in and I'm just not finding them anywhere. Um, so in turn will also help, you know, be rid of the aphids. Um, I had a dear friend that kind of commented um, when I said I was going to get ladybugs, she said, I sure hope you get your ladybugs soon. I, th <laughs> I took that as a nice way as you need to get rid of your little problem that you've got going on pretty quick. Um, that's how I took it anyway, and I did. I ended up spraying neem oil on all of these. This is the one that was the most infested here. I sprayed neem oil on all of my plants, um, under the leaves, on top of the leaves. It's organic uh, platonics, I think is what it's called, neem oil that I had. Um, it stayed on for about a week, and um, so after that, I think they got control of them, but then after that, what I've done, what I've been doing is coming out at night in the evenings and just spraying off anything that I see on the leaves with my water sprayer. You know, I just, anything I see on here, I'll see stuff on the stems, but look how cleaned up it is. Um, I ended up pruning them, and they are just really looking great. I was going to give you a quick garden tour today also. It's an absolutely beautiful day here in Oklahoma. Um, the ladybugs that I released, as you see in the first of the video, um, they stuck around probably for maybe two days, I would say, and then they were gone. So, it's all good, guys. Um, they were really going to town on those bugs, though. I also pruned a lot of these tomato plants, and we had a lot of uh, damage from the storms, the windstorms, about three weeks ago major high winds broke a bunch of my tomato stems so I cut those off this is the one plant that was just really had it bad with the bugs and stuff and you can see it's kind of wilty but you know I think it's coming back around there's some tomatoes growing on here but there there's some yellow flowers going on but like I said the ants are gone the ladybugs are gone Really, it's probably just as well because, guys, I ordered some praying mantis. 
Um, I watched John with um, Growing Your Greens. I don't know if you've ever watched his channel, and I will post a link down at the bottom of the video um, on his Praying Mantis video that he's uh, done for us. And he started about five years ago, and he just um, really likes that concept of getting rid of insects. Look at those beautiful tomatoes. This one is huge. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but look how big that thing is. Oh my goodness, they're just beautiful. So the tomatoes are just looking fantastic. I have a ton of yellow flowers. Here's some more. Um, I have tomatoes everywhere. I'm back over here to the other tomato area. I just have them here. They're really growing everywhere. The cherry tomatoes are just going crazy this year. They just look fabulous. So there's tons of yellow flowers all over. But back to the praying mantis deal. Um, look at that giant cluster. They look like grapes all over the plant. But they're just so pretty. Back to the praying mantis. They would eat the ladybugs if the ladybugs were still in here. So yes, they do eat uh, beneficial insects. However, they will also eat insects that destroy your plants. I have squash bugs every year. Um, look at those beautiful flowers. And I'm hoping that those praying mantis, when they hatch, that they will stop the squash bugs in their tracks. Those are beautiful flowers. My herbs are over here. And they're doing pretty good. Those are marigolds up top. And they're you know, they're getting there, I guess. That's a Roma tomato plant here that I've got growing. And at first, it just really wasn't doing much. And so now it's got some maters on it. Looking pretty. Got green beans growing here on the trail, on the fence. So I can't wait for the praying mantis to come. My goal is basically to keep those squash bugs at bay. And those praying mantis will eat those squash bugs and hopefully get them before we have a problem because the squash bugs get me every single year. So this will be my first time to use praying mantis. But look at my cucumbers. On this side, they just look great over here. My peppers, you know, they're, they're producing. It's really hot out already here in Oklahoma. But the peppers, are do they're doing all right. But there's just a ton of yellow on this on the cucumber. I've already picked cucumbers. And you can see the baby pickles here. I don't know if you can see them. But there's just going to be a ton of pickles. A ton of pickle making. A lot of cucumbers. And then these over here, you know, they're, they're getting there. Baby pickles. All the babies. There are so many tinies. I love it. So many babies on here. Tons of yellow flowers. Just a ton of them. We'll have tons of pickles. Another baby. I have cucumbers growing on this trellis. I think I showed you before. We're doing pretty good. My eggplants are looking beautiful. And then this one has one growing here. You can see that. The eggplants are looking great. There's the cantaloupe. Have a little bit of mint growing in that one. Mint tea is fabulous. We ended up moving that blueberry bucket over here just to get a little bit more sun because it is just not doing very well at all. We'll see how it goes. Some more tomatoes over here. Lots of tomatoes growing. We've got a few radishes growing down here. So here's another one of my ant mixes here. There's a mozucchini plant. There's some squash. More squash. That was a marigold that never got flowers. And this pepper is doing okay, but I have yet to see a pepper. I've seen a few flowers. Those are Anaheim. My bell peppers are doing pretty good. Got some here. There's another plant. And here's 
the other one. We've harvested bell peppers off of these. Kiki, kiki, kiki. Hi. Pretty. Oh, what? Hey there. You got something for me? Hey there. So basically the jars of sugar and borax worked for the ants, um, but I think that the aphids just, or you know, whatever flies those are, just kind of got out of control on my plants. I ordered ladybugs and they just couldn't take care of all of them. So that's why I ended up doing the neem oil, but um, this worked and I'll be doing this again for ants. Just absolutely so pretty. So pretty. Aren't those beautiful? My flowers are so pretty. And here's my moringa plant that my brother brought over to me and it's doing pretty good. Moringa tree. There's some chives. These are just uh, no thyme is what it is. Lemon thyme and it smells so good. I, I had planted like cilantro and I forgot I planted it and then I put this in here. The cilantro is not looking too good. Maybe they don't match up together. I don't really know. Or maybe it's smothering it out. But cilantro is not doing too good there. Anybody else's cabinets look like this right now? Oh my goodness. This stuff right here is bomb. Neptune's harvest. Tomato and veg is good food. And then here's my uh, some of my stars. Look at all their roots. These are like all the armpits, you know, that you pull off. This one here, I think, was from the storm damage. I think I saved one out of that. And I've already put these into some cups. So that one and this one here and that one. I need to get those out, too, into some buckets or something. Or, you know, just in the ground, whatever. This is the neem oil, actually, that I use, too. I'll go ahead and show you that. Plantonics. This is organic. You just have to mix up your concoction. But anyway, um, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video and this update. Uh, the ladybugs pretty much are gone. and um, But that's okay. I knew that was probably going to happen. That's okay. Because it's going to be just in time for the praying mass. And then hopefully they'll take care of the bigger bugs that come along. The um, hornworms and the squash bugs and things like that. Uh, this just right here is just making me so happy looking at it. I know it's small, but, you know, it's just a start. Hopefully it's a start, you know, for there's going to be lots more to come. It just amazes me that all of this comes from just one little bitty seed. We are so blessed, aren't we, folks? He is so good to us. You guys have a blessed evening. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.